I trip over my own extension cord up here. All right, so this is what we're going to talk about uh, today. We're going to talk about different control types, the actuator nomenclature. Why is the Blingo part number the way it is? Because it can be confusing. Um, actuator types, uh, air damper actuator sizing, actuator mounting and wiring, uh, introduction to MFT, uh, some various resources that we have, our website, and some software that we have called Select. That's what we're going to talk about this morning. And as I go through this, you know, feel free to ask questions as we're going through. You don't have to wait till the meeting ends or anything like that. So control types. We're going to talk about the different components of a control system and talk about the different control signals used. Then we're going to explain the differences between floating point and proportional control. It's right out of the ASHRAE Fundamentals Handbook. Automatic HVAC control systems are designed to maintain temperature, humidity, pressure, energy use, power, lighting levels, and safe levels of indoor contaminants. Basically, we're trying to maintain the comfort of the, the building. Why do we need control systems? Well, we're going to look at some of the benefits here. Occupant comfort and safety. Personnel productivity. Energy efficiency, obviously that's getting to be a bigger and bigger uh, piece of the pie. Uh, providing data acquisition so we know what, what changes need to be made uh, to provide an efficient system. Extending equipment life and improved maintenance. So control systems in general, you're going to have a temperature sensor, well, some type of sensor, usually a temperature sensor, you probably have humidity sensors as well. Controller will take the information from the sensor and do something with it. Very basic controller here. Sends a signal to the actuator to position it. It's feedback from the actuator. The actuator, of course, is moving a damper. Controller then gets feedback from the room sensor try and make a decision. We need more or less heating or cooling. This is a fully integrated system. You can see here's our HVAC, You've got energy management, lighting, things like that. Very typical of, of large commercial spaces. The system architecture, the various pieces of equipment that are being controlled by our control system. And then a networked uh, type device. Now we'll talk a little bit about the various control types. We have on off, open closed, uh, pretty self explanatory. Uh, we have another type of control, three point, tri state, floating. I most commonly hear referred to as floating control. Then we have proportional control, sometimes referred to as modulating. Sometimes analog. Pulse width modulation, uh, don't see that as much anymore, but there are still some systems out there using PWM. Phase cut, uh, I never see that anymore. Uh, Brian, you may be able to give me another example. The only company I know that ever used phase cut was State Cut. That's the only one I know too. So, uh, and then multifunction technology, that is a Belimo. Uh, proprietary product. It's a programmable product. So, MFT. Like I said, it was developed by Belimo for both our air and our valve actuators. Um, gives you the ability to program specific characteristics of the actuator that include these here. So your control input. You want it to be on off, you want it to be modulating. Um, we don't use the MFT very often for on off applications because obviously a programmable actuator is going to be quite a bit more expensive than just a two position actuator. Uh, it's used very frequently for modulating applications. Mm -hmm. uh, 
feedback. MFG actuators all have feedback. Uh, you can have it 0 to 10, uh, 2 to 10, uh, 5 to 10 if you wanted it. Uh, different motion values can change the runtime. So, for example, if the default runtime for one of the Bolimo MFT actuators isn't the same as your controller <coughs> runtime, you can adjust it either in the controller or in the actuator. Uh, <coughs> Rotation adjustment adjustment is another one that's used uh, pretty frequently. You know, if you didn't want a damper to close 100%, you can set the angle of rotation so on the low end it maintains you know 10, 20% opening, maintains minimal outdoor air. And then the PC tool, that's the software uh, that you can use to program all these. We also have a small handheld tool called the ZTH Gen. Uh, it's in the uh, accessory section of the damper actuators and those price guides that you have there. Uh, that doesn't do quite as much as the software, but it's a whole lot more convenient since it's maybe about that big. And it does the most common uh, programs such as your control input, uh, rotation adjustment, things like that. So we have four different types of points. We've got analog input, analog output, digital input, and digital output. Where would you use these? Well, the analog input can be things, sensors, temperature sensors, humidity sensors, uh, flow meters, things like that. Whereas your analog out, those are gonna be your uh, control signals, basically, uh, to valves and actuators. Digital in. Again, it's going to be sensor type information, uh, sensing relays, uh, differential pressure switches, things like that. And then digital outputs can be uh, outputs to uh, valves and actuators again, uh, also relays, things like that. This here is a VAD uh, application specific controller. Uh, for those of you that have done quite a bit of work with Bulimo. Uh, you've probably seen some of these. Uh, the black box with a Bulimo actuator. We uh, OEM a lot of our uh, actuators to VAV uh, manufacturers. Any questions on the control types? Okay. Well, now we're talking about the uh, Bulimo actuator notebook. So what, what do the part numbers mean? And one thing I'll point out is on, in these guides, uh, somewhere in the first few pages, you'll see a breakdown in every section of how, what the part numbers mean. So it, it is a nice setup. Um, do I think everything's great about this catalog? No, there's things I'd like to see change. But that is one thing that is very nice, that you can look in each section of the catalog and see what your part numbers mean. So we'll talk about the spring return nomenclature, uh, electronic fail-safe, non-spring, and how to identify the functions and features of an actuator based on its part number. Anybody tell me which of these actuators is a spring return model, other than Brian? <laughs> well, thank you. That, that's what I was thinking Pete would say, and it's one. <laughs> which is why we're going through this section. <laughs> it does not mean spring return. <laughs> <laughs> you expect it to make sense? Come on. <laughs> All right, the LF24 MFT is the spring return model, and we'll see why here in a second. It all starts with the fact that we are a Swiss owned company. The name Belimo is actually from three Swiss words Baratin meaning to consult, Liefjern meaning to deliver, and Montjern, uh, mountain. 